Hi everybody, this is Maureen Wong for YourNextStamp.com. Today we're going to be making this soda lighted card and it's got some stitching detail, so let's get started. First up, I'm using this set from Your Next Stamp called Happy Meal. Specifically, I'm using this soda bottle image. And I've already got it mounted on my small Martha Stewart footed stamp press. I'm going to take my Memento Tuxedo Black ink and ink that up and stamp it because I'm going to be coloring with Copic markers. And I've just got a little scrap piece of cardstock here that I'm going to stamp my soda bottle on. I'm going to be cutting it out with the matching die later, so I'm just using a scrap. And let me zoom in and speed this up so you can see my coloring. I'm starting with R29. And this is actually my favorite uh, red combination. I know it seems too simple. This is R27 and R24 and then R22 is my lightest. It seems like such a simple combination to just go down the R's um, with the, the numbers, but to me it actually works, so I like using it. Now I'm coming in here with E37 and my Copic marker is drying out, so I need to do a refill on that. And now it's better so I can finish coloring. And the lighter brown is E35. And then what I'm gonna do is go over um, the straw with R29 and just R22 to make a little bit of a highlight in the center of the straw because it's so small you can't use all the different colors. Then I'm gonna go over all the soda with my Wink of Stella pen to give it a little bit of sparkle and hopefully you can see that little bit of sparkle here. I just like that for soda. I think it gives it a nice effect. Okay, and now I'm gonna take the matching die. Whoops, let me zoom out first. I'm gonna take the matching die and line that up on my soda bottle so I can cut it out on my die cut machine. Okay, and that's all cut out. And now what I'm gonna do is take the uh, laughing face from the same Happy Meal set, and I'm gonna put it on my little acrylic block and stamp that over the soda bottle with VersaFine ink. I really like the coverage of VersaFine ink and um, the reason why I didn't stamp the face first and then color in is because I didn't need to. The only thing that's going to be colored on the face is the tongue and it actually matches that pinkish red color in the middle of the soda bottle. So that's why I went ahead and stamped it afterwards. And I really like how that turned out. The VersaFine is a really nice coverage black ink. Okay, now I'm going to stamp my sentiment using the so delighted to have you as a friend and again I've got those both lined up on my small footed stamp press I've got my soda bottle temporarily stuck down to my card base um, actually it's not a card base it's just a card front and I'm stamping with VersaFine ink and the reason why I have it just temporarily down is because I want to make sure that I have enough space for it when I line up my sentiment and then I'm going to be taking that soda bottle off and doing some die cutting on that card panel. And the reason why I'm doing this on a panel and not just right on the base is because um, the stitching marks are going to show through to the inside. So I wanted to do it on a separate panel instead. And I decided instead of waiting for my sentiment to dry, because VersaFine does take a little bit to dry, I'm going to emboss it with some detail clear embossing powder. So let me heat that up. And I have to show this because I just absolutely love how the embossing powder melts and reveals that shiny uh, sentiment. So that's all done, so I don't have to worry about touching it. 
and now I'm going to take my Your Next Stamp Stitching Marks Circles dies and if you're not familiar with these they don't create a cut circle they just create the stitching marks inside of the circular shape and they go well with the Your Next Stamp Circle um, dies and so I'm going to just take the largest one put that in place and run it through my die cut machine and you can see there how it just leaves the stitching marks and doesn't actually cut out a circle from that base. And what I'm going to do is go in with the next largest circle and I'm going to tape that down, run it through my die cut machine and I'm going to keep going with this process until I get to the fourth largest size and I decided that that was enough. I didn't want to go all the way to the corner but so that is my finished um, card front except for the soda bottle of course. Now I'm getting my card base and I'm going to use my ATG gun to stick down that card panel right onto my card base and you can see how the stitching marks are showing inside and that's why I didn't want to do the cutting directly on the card base. It just keeps the inside of the card base a little bit neater. Uh, you don't need to do that but I just like to have that stitching marks covered up and that's why I did a separate panel. So I'm sticking that down and then I'm going to permanently adhere my soda bottle at this point and I've got foam tape on the back of that so it's popped up just a little bit and that is my card for today so I hope you like it and we hope to see you over at yournextstamp.com for these and many other fun products. Thank you very much for watching.